Science Sisters. I'm Miss Shaw. I'm Miss Hayes. We got some feedback on our last video. And we need to take science more seriously. So we took that to heart and we considered what we should do for our next video. So we decided we would show you how to make a lung model to teach you about the respiratory system. And we decided that there was going to be no monkey business and nothing funny. No fooling around this time. Sorry, boys and girls. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is wash our hands. to have um, our supplies. We need a bottle with the bottom cut off. Our plastic bottle has already been cut for us. Thank you. We need a straw. We need two balloons. We, we need, need a rubber, rubber band. band. Rubber band. Rubber band. And some, some modeling clay. clay. You also might need scissors. Um, we have already cut the bottle, so we will not be needing these today. We didn't have the left-handed scissors, so we had to. We won't be needing to use these today, but you know, you would use them as such. Careful. Carefully. Safety first. Be if you safety don't first. remember our lab safety rules, Feel please free. watch our, our other video. Watch our first video. All right. Okay, step one, cut a balloon in half. And stretch it wait, over. Wait, wait, Cut a balloon in half? Uh, yeah. You have to cut the top oh, cut off. Cut the it. balloon in half. Okay. Cut the balloon in half. So, will you hold the balloon and I will cut? <laughs> Just one moment. We're having some technical difficulties. Got it. Okay, maybe we can rip it the rest of the way. I might just have to do this part on my own. Here, toss it over here. I think my tiny hands will work better over here. All right, let me toss it to Mrs. Hayes. I'll catch it from her when she's done with her tiny hands. Now that we have our balloon cut for us, we can stretch it over the bottom half over the bottom of the plastic bottle. So you just need to separate the balloon while one person picks up the bottle so that you can stretch it over the bottom. It Sometimes you need to put your, your air in there so it will, it will open up. Ta-da! That's a good question. Then you're going to have to stretch it open. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Once again, my talented assistant, Mrs. Hayes, is going to be stretching that over there. Once we get that balloon into place on our bottle, that's going to represent the diaphragm that is beneath our lungs. Our diaphragm helps us because it's a muscle, and when it contracts and relaxes, it helps our lungs be able to expand. Here There's our diaphragm. All right, step two. Tie the straw to the second balloon with the elastic band. Okay, so we need to put the balloon, to take the balloon and put the straw into the hole. Like so. Let me give you a hand. Hang on. <laughs> Let's get it down here. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Whew. Oh, 
was hard, but we made it work. All right, next we need to take the rubber band and secure the balloon around the straw. It's least a small one. I'll get one from up here. <laughs> it's okay, oh, I got a few got extra. It. You got it. <laughs> I got a few extras, but that's okay. All right, I will lift the rubber band. And okay. if Mrs. Hayes, if you could hold that straw and balloon in place, I will tie the balloon around it. I'm sorry, it's a rubber band, not a balloon. Oops. Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Oop. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. Better go back here. And okay, get it this works down. better down below. The straw is going to represent the trachea, or the passageway that our air travels through our mouth and into our lungs. The little balloon will represent one of our lungs. All right. Here it is. <clears throat> wow. Here it is. Okay, step three. Insert the straw into the mouth of the plastic bottle and secure it with molding clay. Other way. We have to squish that balloon in there. I'll hold it, you squish. Sometimes it helps if you use your wrist. Now I can lift up the straw and what we need to get the modeling clay out. I'll help you, Mrs. Hayes. What color would you like? <laughs> All the colors, apparently. <laughs> Whatever color is the easiest one to grab. <laughs> we'll go with blue. Kind of matches here. Um. All right. Oh, good job, Mrs. Hayes. Okay. Let's get a piece off. <laughs> Some hard play. Together is better. Let's synergize. Sharpening, we need to sharpen our saw. Okay, so now that we have our modeling clay, we need to mold it around the mouth of the bottle so that it does not move. And there's nowhere for the air to get in. It might take a while, sometimes you have to kind of work with it and really, really test it out. It might take a little bit of time. Here. Wish a little bit here. Good job. Okay. Right. I need to wash my hands. Whew. All right. Now, our lung model is complete. So now we have to use it. Mrs. Hayes is going to demonstrate what would happen if somebody was to breathe in and air was to go through the trachea into the lung. So I'll hold it up while she blows. So I'll hold it All up. All right, everyone at the same time, take Ready? a deep breath. Deep breath in. Oh my gosh, wait, Mrs. Hayes, what happened to the diaphragm? Oh, oh. What All happened? right, suck in. Oh, wow. So if you don't want to touch the straw, if your partner put their mouth on it and you don't want to put your mouth on it after they put their mouth on it, um, you can use this model in a different way. All you need to do is squeeze the bottle and it will simulate as if you had taken a breath in. So it's hard to see, but you can see my green balloon inside has deflated and now it will inflate. Deflate, inflate. It works better if you're a good squeezer. I'm pretty weak. Deflate, so lung has deflated, inflate. Now, Mrs. Hayes, can you do us a favor and blow one more time? Let's see that diaphragm move. The pink balloon on the bottom is simulating the diaphragm. As air fills the lungs, the diaphragm moves and releases so that there's room for the lungs to expand. The best tip of this video is to get yourself a good friend who can help you film and help you make your lung model. I've got one right here that I made a year ago. Let's see how we did. This one's missing its diaphragm, but all in all, I'd say we did pretty well. Nice job, Mrs. Hayes. High five. All right. Low five. High 10. <laughs> Boys and girls, we are so glad that you were able to join us today for this video on the respiratory system to watch us create a lung model. We hope that this was educational and informational. As we were told, 
to not do any more messing around. So we really tried our hardest. We tried not to be funny. We tried not any antics. Um, straight and narrow, right here. Science sisters, um, our duty is to educate you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more from the Science Sisters. We already have 27 subs. We're well on our way to 100. Once we have 100, there might be a giveaway. You might win this. Now that you've seen the lab, your job is to go ahead and fill out all of the information on the lab sheet. Uh, once you've completed this, you're going to turn it in and we'll eventually end up placing this into your science, Gus, and you'll be able to use it for any future quizzes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ta-ta. Tiny hands. I itched that whole time and I couldn't get it out. My lips were dry. The whole I had like a booger in my eye. Okay, we have two minutes. Oh, I think we have blue hands now. The last step of any lab, make sure you clean up after yourself. Don't forget to dry them off when you're done. <laughs> I think I broke my wrist. <clears throat> no paper towels. <laughs> I'll just wait for my jacket. It's like those finger handcuffs. Mm -hmm. All right, today we're gonna try a few more tasks with our tiny hand. I'm gonna try juggling. I need to try again. Is this your water? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's a fresh one. It can't be fresh. It's missing the third. No, that's all of them. Give me a real one. Okay, they're, they're all like cold. that. I don't want to get sick. They're all like that. I'm going to try drinking water with my tiny hand. Let me have the other bottle. I hope oh. they come in to get the trash while we're there. Don't cheat. Sometimes you have to use your big hand to help you. Okay, let's both try to drink together. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to try to you. <laughs> Here, I'm going to give you a drink of water. No. It's always best when you're working in the lab that you stay hydrated so you don't pass out. It's okay, it's just water. lab. You might get hungry. Good thing we have some great O's here to help. Are you good at catching things in your mouth? 
to try. All right, here I have one great O. That's all I can muster up. Pressure's on. All right. Okay, I'm going to use my tiny hands to toss it into Mrs. Hayes' mouth. Ready? Here. One. I don't know why I'm counting. You'll see it, obviously. Two. <laughs> you got it! Good job, Mrs. Hayes. Now it's my turn, except I'm going to throw a whole tiny handful <laughs> into your mouth. All right, I'm ready. Wait, you can't eat these. Are they gluten-free? No. <laughs> All right. I can put one in my mouth and spit it out. All right, I'll spit, I'll spit them out. I'll do it for the video. One. <laughs> two. Tiny hands! <laughs> oh, they didn't even go close to my mouth, so I'm okay. <laughs> We're really giving ourselves more credit than we should have. Save that for the blood lab. <laughs> Get every last great O. Ooh, here's an L. Oh. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. All right, so we can close this up. We don't want these to get stale. So I put my hand